Hey y'all, it's James Neal here. Everybody's least favorite redneck back at it again. I know, you missed me, but I tried making legitimate money and turns out my wife can make better money being a CNA than I can make doing hard labor. So that's what she's letting me do. I'm staying at home with the baby and the nieces and taking care of everything at the house, which is fine with me because I love just being at home and doing projects and stuff like that. What I figure is I can keep making these videos and I can show y'all stuff and maybe at some point, sometime down the line, somebody will care about one of these videos. And I do think I'm going to show more live action though. I've solved some of my memory problems that I had a year and something ago. So maybe I'll be able to show y'all more live action because the stuff that I do is really retarded sometimes. And I think that that will interest y'all more than the actual project itself most of the time. Anyway. Stay tuned. Um, I do have something in store for you today. I have a new vehicle, and we're going to put a radio in it and swap a radio out of the black truck, and I will explain all that to you while we're doing it. Thank you. All right, y'all. Here it is. Step one, head units. I'm going to be building two things almost at the same time. I'm going to build the car first, and I have its stuff over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this radio in the car, this radio in the truck because this radio has four volt six channel out this one is a cd player and has two volt two channel out that means this going into a dsp will be just fine and this without a dsp running a four channel amp will be just fine with the truck it's going to have a three-way active system so the dsp is necessary this will be fine Plus, it's a CD player. That's cool. I like CDs. I still have CDs. I like CDs. Game plan. Cut this part. That's done 2019. Jesse bought me this thing for Valentine's Day. Thank you. I love you, baby. Still going to use it in the new car. Um, so, basically, cut it up. Swatch, switch, swap, switch harnesses. And uh, get her done. Alright, here we go.
JVC in, Pioneer in, got to clean up my mess. Um, my heat shrink wasn't big enough. I ended up having to use electrical tape. Um, oops. This one worked out pretty good. A little thinner than it was before. Just like a little electrical tape over that. That one will be done. Left my remotes out. Crowns out. Once they're in the car, they'll be good. Like I said, clean the mess up. Put everything together tomorrow. And at least the truck. The car probably not. Hey y'all, it's uh, the next day. Got this thing put in here. Me and the baby are out here hanging out. I sat and played with it. Listened to some music. It honestly sounds better than the JVC did on these cheap MTX speakers. Anyway, that's this one. Uh, I guess I get to go show you the new car. Are you bored? You can go put in the other radio now? You want to go inside and play with Hey Hey? Okay. Alright, well, that's what she's going to do. She's going to go inside and play, and I'm going to go put in the other radio and show you all this new car. All right, new car. So like I said, as soon as you see the dash, you'll know what it is. It's a little TC, it's a 2007. I did a few things to it here and there. It still needs a windshield. So can't ever claim that one was because of the, the base that's eventually gonna be in it, but it's a good little car. Okay, y'all, so the radio's in. This is the box I was talking about. I built it for the back of a extended cab uh, S10 a long time ago. Just kind of been holding on to them. Game plan, put them right there. I don't even know if this thing will fit or not. I ain't measured nothing, I'm just gonna try to stick it in there. Wish me luck, we'll find out here in a minute. Well, it don't fit. By that much. Alright, and here is going to be the speakers we run in this thing. The massive FC 6.3's three-way system. I'm going to come up with somewhere to put the, the three and a halves, or the threes. I might put them in the dash if I feel froggy. I don't know. I'm trying to keep this thing simple. Honestly, the best bet would be to try to put them somewhere around the tweeter right there in that area, but there is no good spot other than behind the door latch area. So, we'll find out. They're rated at 150 watts RMS, I think, per side. So, we'll cram some power to them and see how good they sound in this thing. I was going to put them over there in the black truck in the crazy big build, but I think I'm going to go with more pro speakers and super tweeters. That way I can run less drivers and get more sound out of the same amount of drivers. And then for this car, I just want it to sound good. 
and uh, obviously we're gonna have to do something about that box back there but all right stay tuned I'm waiting on an amp to show up